Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Todd Stewart, and he is, of course, the athletic director for Bluffton High School. Thank you for being here today. Absolutely glad to be here. So believe it or not, we're going to talk about wrapping up winter sports. We get spring sports really early here in the low country. So <laughs> tell us what's going on towards the end of winter, and then we'll jump into spring. Okay, so winter, we're heading down towards the end of regular season. Um, wrestling's got some important uh, team and individual matches coming up, so we're excited to see how their season um, wraps up moving forward over the course of the next uh, month or so. And then basketball's in the stretch run of region play, which is always exciting time of year, right. um, trying to position themselves in good, um, good positions for playoff spots. Right. Excellent. And so... Like I said, we're going to be moving into spring. I know golf starts next month. and So what, what do we have upcoming? Uh, well, we're excited to see how uh, our boys golf and boys tennis team um, expands this year. They're getting a lot of interest around school. So we have a lot of um, returning faces and new faces to both of those squads this year. So we're excited to see how they develop. That's fun. Yeah. Um, then we have uh, softball. Softball this year has a lot of returning experience. Um, a lot of the team is comprised of seniors this year, um, which if we can stay healthy, hopefully that will lead to some good, um, good softball games this, this spring. Absolutely. Um, baseball, we're excited again. Uh, they went to district championship last season uh, to that game. And they have a lot of their players returning this year. So um, we expect big things from baseball. So um, lots of exciting things happening this spring for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, and then across the, the way uh, on campus, we've got our, our lacrosse programs. Um, girls lacrosse worked really hard last year. They were really young. Um, so they, our coaches worked really hard to, to develop their girls, and hopefully that pays off. Excellent. Um, boys lacrosse, they're seeing an increase in interest this year, so it's great to see their program growing. Um, they returned to the playoffs last year the first time in about five seasons. Okay. So, so they uh, ended well, and they're, they're excited to get back out on the field. Well, we're excited for the warmer weather and for all of those fun spring sports. So go Bobcats, but go Bobcats, easy for me to say, and all of those things. Um, and you wanted to touch on, I think, just a little bit of an update on some of the facility uh, upgrades that are going on that were part of that referendum that passed. Um, yeah, yeah, we have um, some upgrades going on around our stadium, which is where our soccer teams play. So I can't leave out soccer, uh, <laughs> soccer and track. Um, so there's some upgrades going on with the field house at their stadium. Um, shared by soccer um, and girls soccer uh, just transitioning to, to them. The coach believes they're going to have a strong year this year. Um, they have uh, across the board great leadership and a lot of returning seniors, so they're excited to see those, those girls back. Boys soccer, um, they had eight graduating seniors last year, which is a large portion of the team, but they also have – um, 30 returning JV and varsity players this year. So um, they made the playoffs last year, and hopefully um, they can get uh, a little further into the playoffs this season. And then lastly, track and field. Um, last but not least, um, they didn't lose a lot, um, and they're adding a lot. They, they actually qualified 18 um, athletes for state last year. Wow, so Coach hopes to grow that number. Um, we're also very excited. We have an alum coming back to help coach this year, our throwers, um, Neil Blanken. He was a graduate from here, and he actually won the state championship in shot put when he was here. So nice. we're excited to see him back. Well, Todd, thank you so much for being here today. Lots of things happening, as I said before. So good luck on all of them, and thanks for sharing. All right. Thank you. An art auction to benefit Lowcountry Habitat for Humanity is coming up in March, and we're going to get the details right after a quick break.